The GE200 drip and micro sprinkler kit is the all-in-one system using pressure compensating drippers and micro sprinklers. Starting with the anti-siphon device, connect it to the regulator. Then connect the female hose in to the opposite side of the regulator. From the female hose in, push on your main line tubing into the fitting. Couplings, tees, and elbows are attached in the same manner. To add the quarter inch tubing, first punch a hole into your main line tubing. The hole punch is included in your kit. Then insert the quarter inch barb into the hole. Attach the quarter inch tubing to the other side of the quarter inch barb. From there, run the quarter inch tubing to your plant and cut it where you want it. After you've cut your quarter inch tubing to where the plant is, you can now insert the dripper into the end of the tubing. A stake can be attached to the quarter inch tubing to hold the tubing in place at the base of your plant. If you're attaching a micro sprinkler, first of all punch a hole into your main line tubing as you did before. Then insert the barb end of the micro sprinkler tubing into the hole. Press the stake firmly in the ground. Your micro sprinkler is now ready to spray. To cap off the end of your main line tubing, slide the figure eight onto the tubing, fold the tubing, and then slide the figure eight back. Your end is now secure. By attaching a battery operated timer to your faucet and to your kit, you can automate your system. And using the GE200 kit, I would suggest the 7001 DIG timer to give you full flow to your system. You can also add an easy flow fertilizer system to fertilize your plants at the same time. Here's a helpful hint. When working with the mainline tubing, unroll it and lay it out in the sun for a couple of hours before you're ready to use it. By doing so, this will make the tubing much more pliable and easy to work with.